Low-dose rate brachytherapy is a one-off treatment for cancers that are diagnosed early and confined to the prostate. Radioactive seeds implanted directly into the prostate kill off cancerous cells in the 12 months following the procedure. The radioactivity dies off and the seeds actually remain in the prostate. The advantage is that uh, it avoids the need to come back and forwards to the hospital over a seven week period, as is the case with external beam radiotherapy, uh, and the patient can get back to work very quickly. It's appropriate for men with a Gleason score of seven or below, a small to moderate sized prostate, a PSA of usually 15 or below, and who also have no severe urinary symptoms. Some men who've recently had a TURP might not be suitable. In Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital, self-employed Rob Roberts is waiting for his procedure. When I got my diagnosis, I felt very, very upset, or cold, numb, anything you can think of. But one main thing is, is just total disbelief. You just don't believe it's, it's happened to you. Oncologist Ahmed El Medir will deliver Rob's brachytherapy. It should take less than two hours and Rob hopes to be home in time for supper. I didn't want the surgery for it because the surgery was going to be too invasive. The external radiation was a bit of a no-no. As a If it's a working person, you've got to go every day for like seven and a half weeks to a hospital in the near vicinity, which could be 30 odd miles away. Excellent. Any last minute questions? Um, no, not really, just be careful. <laughs> I like brachiotherapy because it's one procedure and everything's sorted after that. You know, the radiation's implanted and it does its job and that's it. So I'll see you down in theatre. Look forward to it. OK, see you later then. Rob, our patient today um, is, is a gentleman who's been diagnosed with um, localised prostate cancer, um, low Gleason um, score, so low grade, so he's an ideal candidate for brachytherapy. Patients who have severe urinary symptoms really shouldn't consider brachytherapy. The side effect profile is, 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 is very good compared to the other treatments, that's why a lot of men actually choose brachytherapy. The only downside possibly could be is um, the urination could be upset a little bit. Patients might notice they urinate more frequently and that usually settles over a period of months. Overall the majority of patients really experience very little side effects. There is a pain you can get in your stomach as these seeds kick in and they can give you tablets for that. So other than that there's no other downsides I can see with it. Brachytherapy has sort of gained popularity really because um, brachytherapy causes less risk of impotence than external beam radiotherapy, for example, and certainly less than radical prostatectomy without nerve sparing. Brachytherapy is sometimes used to treat patients with high risk T3 cancers when it can be combined with hormone therapy and external beam radiotherapy. Rob's having one treatment of low dose rate brachytherapy effective for patients with T1 or T2 tumours. The best hope for this treatment is total cure of prostate cancer and that's the only reason I put myself through it. Working with Mr El Medea is consultant neurological surgeon Alan Doherty. Compared with external beam radiotherapy, uh, one can deliver much higher dose without damaging surrounding tissues, so that's very attractive. Brachytherapy is a three-step procedure. In step one, the urologist uses rectally inserted ultrasound to scan the prostate in detail. And so that, this, this is a very suitable uh, prostate, uh, which is good. So I just sort of make an outline around the, uh, the prostate as I see it. So whenever I take this picture, the information is taken across into the computer to then uh, work out what to do next. Once the prostate has been scanned and mapped, step two is planning how many seeds are delivered into each part of the prostate. We need to cover the prostate, which is the red circle with 100% of the dose, and try to minimise the dose to the rectum, which is at the back here, and also try to avoid using too much radiation near the urethra, which is the green circle in the middle. So um, what Matt is doing is cutting, cutting the seeds according to the plan. The plan will show how high a dose should be given in each area of the prostate. Radioactive seed strands are cut to the right length to deliver a precise treatment 
and then inserted into needles ready to be implanted into the patient. So we, on this screen you can see the, uh, you can see that needle which is just going to the right area, so it's like a safety check. The plan generates a grid pattern that tells the oncologist how many seeds to implant and exactly where to place them. So, so uh, to check the position, I can see it on the ultrasound. Uh, Dr. Elmadir can measure it, and therefore we know the seeds have been put in the right place. And if you're playing battleships, you've sunk it. 1.5 at base. An X ray shows all the seeds in place. The procedure's gone really well. Uh, it was exactly what we'd hoped for. Uh, on checking it with the X-ray, the seeds have uh, been placed exactly where we wanted them to be, uh, and we're really pleased. He had an ideal-sized prostate for the procedure, um, and it went really well. No, no problems at all. While Rob goes into recovery, Mr. Elmadir's next patient arrives. Hello, Stephen Parks to see uh, Mr. Elmadir. It's eight weeks since Stephen had his procedure. He said brachytherapy, in my case, would be a good option. Mm. And, it's uh, less invasive. Much less invasive. Yeah, so you're up and about, aren't you? Yeah. In no time, it's it really, you'd have just as long off if you had the flu. And if you have the radiation treatment, that's a number of weeks having the procedures. And, uh, and going it, backwards and forwards and all the time. Backwards and forwards, a lot of time. And particularly if you haven't nearby got a, a hospital that does the procedures. How has it been? It's been much better than I thought it was going to be, actually, uh, uh, apart from having a, a few problems with the waterworks, you know. Do you remember the symptom score that you feel for ah, the yes. brachytherapy specialist nurse? Um, urination is a little bit of a problem, but they say that will improve over the next two or three months, uh, having tablets, as I said, for that. Sex life is back almost yes. to normal. Yeah, perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you're at the peak of the intensity of the radiation from the seeds, so your immune symptom score has sort of gone up to 18. I um, am. And what I would, know, I would expect, as the radioactivity gets less and less, it should start to settle nicely. How does the, the brachytherapy kill the cancer? The uh, radiotherapy damages the DNA inside the cells. The normal prostate cells recover. I so see. So when the cancer cells divide, yes. Mm -hmm. The DNA is damaged, so that oh, as a result they die. Yes. Um, prostate cancer generally is a slow-growing cancer, mm. so that's why the cells don't die until they start to divide. Mm. So that's why it's a slow process, really, in terms of the cure rate, the length of time it takes for the prostate cancer cells to die. I know we've got to wait a year before we've got the final all clear, but. Um, I've got every confidence in Dr. Almadia and his team here. They've been wonderful.